It's Friday, July 19th, 2024, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Former President Trump has accepted the Republican presidential nomination, marking the GOP's lurch toward populism in a move to expand its base. In a relatively subdued and introspective speech, Susan Friccio and Stephen Dynan report Trump recounted Saturday's assassination attempt, but said it would be the last time he'd do so in public because the telling of it was painful. Trump's hour-long acceptance speech contrasted his agenda with President Biden's record, and he pledged to steer the nation back toward prosperity that he said lifted up the working class during his first term. Trump is tailoring his campaign message to the working class and to traditionally Democratic voting blocs such as blacks and Hispanics. The contrast was stark from 2016 when Trump was battling other Republicans and the party was struggling to retain its base. A new report says former President Obama doesn't have confidence that President Biden can win the 2024 election. Alex Miller, Tom Howell, and Lindsey McPherson report Obama told allies his former vice president should seriously consider the viability of his candidacy. Axios reported that multiple senior Democrats now expect Biden to bow out as soon as this weekend. The Democratic National Convention in Chicago is scheduled to begin August 19th, but the party is planning to lock in Biden as the nominee during a virtual roll call vote during the first week of August. Investigators say a threatening Internet post attributed initially to former President Trump's would-be assassin was from a fake account. Matt Delaney reports federal investigators told CBS News that authorities walked back their suggestion that gunman Thomas Crooks posted the message, July 13th will be my premiere, watch as it unfolds, on the gaming platform Steam. The 20-year-old shot and killed one man, wounded two others, and hit Trump with a grazing wound to his ear during a campaign event in western Pennsylvania last weekend. Adidas has apologized for an ad campaign starring pro-Palestinian model Bella Hadid wearing a revamped shoe from the 1972 Munich Olympics, where Palestinian terrorists killed 11 Israeli athletes and coaches. Valerie Richardson reports an Adidas spokesman said, We apologize for any upset or distress caused by the ads. Spokesman didn't say whether Adidas would remove Hadid from the ads, noting the campaign uses a broad range of partners to celebrate the shoe. Hadid is known for her Palestinian advocacy and anti-Israel views. And finally, Andrew Salmon looks at how some militaries are embracing the role of victim to find the quickest path to victory in cognitive warfare. Military scholars point to the French-Indochina War and America's experience in Vietnam as landmark conflicts in modern cognitive warfare. France suffered a military defeat. The U.S. did not. In both cases, the will to fight eroded and the opposition achieved their strategic objectives. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.